Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to my humble channel of Epic 7 content. Thank you so much for joining us today. I do greatly appreciate your support. I'm Senshai, and today we're going to be jumping back into Guild Wars. Today we're going to be facing the Almighty Purge. Sounds quite intimidating. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, we're doing okay. Okay, I'm not doing okay. Okay, I need to change some things. Well, that's okay. You know, it's, it's, it's all about editing and redoing defenses otherwise you know it get extraordinarily boring uh oh and now you can see with the cerise change people are beginning to utilize for more this defense seems relatively it seems interesting i can understand what what they're trying to do um i know my first initial thought would be bringing general Purgus in to fight these guys just because of the ML Lulica and the Rylet. But Cerise will counteract his push. So what I'm thinking of is I need to think of another light bait that would be able to take the abuse of these two. Um, and then also take care of Cerise. So actually what I'm thinking about is I'm thinking about bringing ML Ball into this. Okay, so let's just go ahead and come on. So ML Ball, but man, that is a lot of damage for him to be taking. ML Lulica doesn't care about damage sharing effects or mitigations, so he'd be taking the brunt of two big attacks. And I just, I even with how tanky I have him built, I do not think that that is an option. Uh, as for this bottom team, uh, Charles can always be a problem, Lilia's dual attack can always be a problem. Um, I think I will bring in my own Lilius for that for that bottom fight. So if I go Lilius and my Ravi, because Ravi is, I feel really good against Charles and against uh, Arbiter Vildred. Uh, for the healer, I'm not too sure because I'm not sure how hard that that Charles is gonna hit, of course. Um, but it, like with my Rowana, she will be taking the ire of both Lilius and Charles. But with the dual attack and the counter attack from Charles, it should push and heal. So I'm I'm, I'm quite confident that my Rowana will be able to um, withstand that abuse. All right, so I decided for this top team it is kind of a a mad lad rush with using Fallen Cecilia, uh, Ball, and my Valencia. So Valencia, I'm hoping we'll be able to strip their buffs, uh, mainly the invisibility from Cerise and from Lulica, and then if Ball survives the initial burst of both Rio and of ML Lulica, he'll be able to pierce Rio with his skill 3 and regain his health back. Uh, it does penetrating, doesn't crit, so that's what we're going to be hoping on. Yep, let's go. I didn't want to yeah, so these, these guys are way faster. I have no choice. Okay, good. I did, I did keep the barrier. This is just and I think my ball should cut in front if he survives blow. this. Okay. I do want to regain his health, so I am going to... How much damage did he do? Oh, he did not heal. I thought he was supposed to gain HP back based on his lost health. Oh no. Okay. Can I land the strip? If I can land the strip on the Rio, I should be fine. Oh, I landed the strip on everybody. Okay, let's. Now this is just a, a, a survival, and I'm pretty sure my Alencia and my Fallen Cecilia should be able to. Excellent. Okay, so first one I'm going to take out. 
is going to be... Oh, defense break. How clever. Oh, okay. I like I like this synergy. Okay. Um, so Cerise is lapping pretty hard. Uh, but what I'm going to try and do is... I... Hmm. I might actually lose my Fallen Cecilia here. Just because of the way that things have gone. Um, so I guess I will try and... Um, oh yeah, it was not enough. Upgrade complete. You're not bad. I... Okay, well she doesn't have defense breaks, so hopefully she'll be able to withstand this. Okay, excellent. Hopefully I can get Mind's Eye. Sadly, I will lose my Bond Cecilia here, but my Alencia. Sh oh wow! See, nothing to worry about. <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor fallen Cecilia. But we'll we'll manage. Already 50% health. Okay, let's see if, how hard we can whack the Charles. Oh, he's a he's a durable Charles. Uh, do I want to try and risk? Nah, let's. I just want to. I, I want to get this started. Perfect. CR push is definitely going to help. So, and now I can get my revive going. Save us all. So hopefully I can get a counter attack from my Ravi. Okay, sadly not, but... Oh, wow, perfect. Man, we want a lucky crit. Uh, I think this is probably where I want to kill Arbiter Vildred before he does too much damage to me. See, and that full heal is just bonkers with Robbie on Sigurd's side. I love it. Can I get a second lucky lucky counterattack? Oh, I can. Oh, and Lily has survived. Wow. I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, yeah, I just want to get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to see if I can stun her. Uh, just getting that pressure off. Uh, not that there's a whole lot of pressure going on right now. But giving my guys a chance to kind of have a reprieve from their... From that kind of onslaught. Oh yeah, she has the Misty buff. This is just the beginning. Let's see this damage. Perfect. Alrighty, and then we'll just hop on over to the next fight. Alrighty, so here we are at our next fight. Um, the top team, all dark, so I'm going to bait with Purgus. Acid will not go for Purgus initially, he'll be going for my DN. So hopefully she'll be able to resist that pushback. I do not have her on an immunity set, um, so that's too bad. But Purgus will be taking the rest of the front of the force, so he'll be able to push everybody up. Now, for the bottom team, I'm not quite sure because I've had some trouble with Broman. Uh, before and Celine is also kind of troubled just because she can hit for a ton of damage with her critical hits and RB is just RB so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use F Maya and T Sorin to kind of shrug off the debuffs that Roman's going to be putting on and hopefully I'll be able to just tap these guys down and then even if my ML haste does get uh, crowd controlled by the Broman um, I'll still get his passive 
when Arby dies, so I'll get that shield and I'll get that immunity. Not that the immunity will mean anything, but still I'll get that shield and immunity, so hopefully I'll be able to sustain for a little bit longer while I kill the other two in the back. So, here's, here's hoping. Oh, Alright, let's go ahead and get that anti-crit up. So from here on out, it's mainly just hoping that General Fergus does not get debuffed um, by Assassin Sid with that defense break, otherwise that'll just make keeping him alive that much more difficult. Okay, now let's see if I can get a lucky stun here. Oh wow. Because Sid is stunned, I am going to actually heal. I was going to save this for the next rotation around, um, just in case. But I think now my guys should actually, Seaside Blona should be able to clean up those two in the back. So yeah, and then from here it's just a uh, an auto run. So <laughs> enjoy the show. Alrighty, and then on to round two. I'm gonna be interested to see how well T Surin and F Maya work against this team. Okay, well, we're already off to a pretty okay start. Okay. All right, so this is good. So, yeah, I just want to focus on healing my guys up. So this is actually a big help for me because I was I've been struggling against this team before because uh, the crowd control even with my 200 resistance um, Roelle wasn't able to like sustain against it. So and hopefully my fighter Maya will be able to. I'm actually just gonna clout this guy just to get rid of any of that annoying. Stun debuff chance. Uh, what are their cooldowns at? She's on one cooldown. I'm gonna see if I can actually strip her. I can't. Okay. Arby's taken care of. Hopefully, I can get a. Oh, solid counter attack. And then just finish it off with uh, piercing damage. No worry for evasion, and we're back to full health. So, hey, I'm glad that I finally got a, a solid team to counteract this now. Thanks, everybody in my guild, like Synchro and, and Ada. You guys really helped me. And there. So, all right, we're going to be going on to the next fight now. All righty, so here we are against our final opponent. Um... Top one, uh, I'm trying to get to use Doris more. Don't really use her that often because I've got General Fergus and all that. But I felt I felt like she could do some some good work here in the top. And then of course I really want to play more with Landy and my damage Lilius is really good against Charles. I feel 
Uh, bottom team, it's the same concept as the last one. I'm just dealing with an A tie win instead of with a uh, uh, Karen's on. I'm, I'm spacing on her name. But it's the same idea. So hopefully it'll hold up against this one as well, being able to just shrug off those debuffs. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Hopefully we can get some counterattacks from Landy. Okay, good. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I just I want to clear off this um, nullifier from Charles and uh, CC. This. So that's just getting only one stack. The nice thing is, is that with all the buffs that I'm getting from... Oh wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of damage. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Man, I'm so happy with the way that they buffed her. Uh, it like I have her on my on my counter set, and I gotta tell you, it's it's fantastic. Uh, I'm actually I'm actually gonna push Landy up. So Doris, I'm I'm glad that they changed Doris's arm. I don't know if anyone actually noticed that, but after the critique with how her arm kind of bent at an awkward angle, uh, they they changed it so it's more propped up. Gosh, Landy is just a monster now. I love it. Of course, we have a whole nother fight, so we, we totally have a chance to eat, eat dirt on the next one. Okay. Test number two. I'm going to be interested to see if this Tywin is a damage Tywin. Or if it's just a CC Tywin. Oh, that looks like a damage Tywin. Okay. Let's see how well she does. Now, I already triggered his command. Okay, so what we're actually going to do is... Yeah, I'm going to kill the RB with haste. This will reset, full heal my team. RB goes. Uh, it, I don't think it's on Moonlight Dreamblade. Uh, then again, you know, I kind of just hit it through everything. Maybe it's just unlucky procs on him. Uh, and I will decide to focus down this Broman, just so I can get a solid skill 3 off on him. I gotta tell you, Fighter Maya, hidden hidden jewel and everything, she just hits like a truck. Oh, okay, so it is Alexis Basket. So, and then it's just down to Tywin. So, I'm, I'm just in case any of you know, you know, you can use T-Surin and Fighter Maya against Roman, like, crowd control comps. Oh, I should have skill 3. Um, but, you know, that'll help kind of shrug it off and it'll keep your two damage healers uh, running. Um, I know Moonlight Haste is a 5-star Moonlight. I don't know who I would put in his place besides maybe uh, Doris. Like, Doris could do well just because she'll passively have that heal when Arbiter hits her. But, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for Guild Wars today. Thank you guys again so much for joining me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'll have all my unit descriptions at the very end of the video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.